afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the Houston Astros. Who's going to win this showdown between these two? Find out next. Josh James is on the mound for Houston in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. So stepping in, Jose Ramirez. He will lead this one off today. Here's a drive out toward the gap in left center. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in the second base as he kicks things off this afternoon with a double. Wow, that's the way to kick off a day at the ballpark right there. Lead off hitter and he puts the pitcher on his heels right out of the gate with a leadoff double. It's hard to get settled into a game as a pitcher when you're dealing with the runner in scoring position one batter into the game. In now, Cesar Hernandez. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes in this one, Mr. James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. The one-two. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Brentwood has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Batting third, the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. So here's Francisco Lindor now. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gone now. Ramirez, a runner at second with one away. Hit in the air to right field. Reddick is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and here's Fran Reyes stepping in. The set and the 1-1. One -one. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Fellas, taking a look at these Astros entering play here this afternoon. They've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by, but on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. So here's Tyler Naquin. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Pulled toward right center field. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Indians strand a couple. Now the Astros will get their first opportunity. No score. Shane Bieber gets the starting assignment for the Tribe in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Into the box, Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 
and he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. So fellas this Indians ball club as they begin play here this afternoon they come off another loss last time out and in fact they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah Maddie, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah Dero I think one of the things you want to do you get to the third game you'd like to win this series and finish it off by winning game three. It's always nice to win a series whether it's at home or on the road. So this is a big one for this ball club. Striding in for Houston, Alex Bregman, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Drilled to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him, two down. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. Swinging it well so far in this series, he's three for nine. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Fastball is looked at for strike two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. One, two, three, go the Astros. We are still scoreless. Second inning set to go, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Carlos Santana. Two balls and two strikes now. Set to deal on two and two. Looks at a fastball low here and it's full three and two. He walked the guy back in the first and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Lined hard toward right center. Springer is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. The left fielder, number 24, Domingo Santana. Stepping in, Domingo Santana. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. No score here as we play inning number two. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Next for the Indians is the designated hitter, Oscar Mercado. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. 1-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Two out, nobody on. Back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. So they get a two out base runner here following the base hit, and that leads us to check out the league leaders in team batting average. And we find that these guys are currently third best in the AL in that department. In now for Cleveland, Roberto Perez. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Yeah. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Runner on first with two away. Right. 
Runner, 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 runner. goes. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Indians leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Striding forward now is the D.H. Jordan Alvarez. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Pitch home. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Now batting, Yuli Guriel. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. One home is taken for ball two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Now the 2 1 pitch. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. Batting pitch. Your center fielder. Next up for the Strohs, George Springer. He's currently fourth in the AL in RBIs, and he's got a chance to add to that total right here. And he's the best in that category on this ball club, guys. He's the guy they look to to bring him home. On that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. None out, runners at first and second. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Santana is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Batting track, not your job. Carlos Correa. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. And a fastball misses there, ball four. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And History repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Digging in now, Josh Reddick. As we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Redick waiting, and now the pitch. Got a piece, it's two and two. 
Hey, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in, and then get the guy sitting inside trying to be quick to everything, and then pull the string a little bit on a nasty changeup. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Into the box now. Garrett Stubbs. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. One run scores. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Hey, this one's a long way from being over, D-Roll, but that big that base hit right there gives him a two-run lead. Yeah, Dan, without goal. question right there. What? Huge at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher's able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out and execute. Standing in now, Michael Brantley. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning is over. So two runs on two base hits, no errors, and two men left on base. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Astros lead it two to nothing. Top of the third set to get underway, and next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Jose Ramirez. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be now in line right. for the win if this the keeps up as we take a look at the league, league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 2 1 home. Eight, two. Two ball. One out, nobody on. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important oh, is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. to the plate now Francisco Lindor two balls and two strikes the count to Francisco Lindor oh and this ball is absolutely blasted high and deep and gone an absolute bomb It's a solo shot for Frankie Lindor. Number 25 for him on the year. And the Indians are on the board now. It's a 2-1 to one game. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Into the box, Fran Morales. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Indians able to get one back thanks to the home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's the Astros two and the Indians one. We're back now as the Astros ready to bat in the third inning. And as they do, it's a good time to discuss their offense, which has been a real source of pride for this club. In fact, with the highest team batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging percentage in all of Major League Baseball, it's probably safe to say they have the absolute best offense in the sport these days. As one player told me earlier, yeah, I mean, you don't have to dig too deep into the stats to understand the level we're playing at. We have a special group, we know it, and we still think we can get better. Safe to say no one else around the league hopes they can, guys. 
All right, Heidi, thank you. The three and one pitch. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a team answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Reyes moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ground ball to second. This could be two. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Three innings complete. Houston leads this one two to one. And we're back in Houston. Welcome back to Minute Maid Park as we check in with Heidi. Matt, I talked with manager Terry Francona during the break about his thoughts on the Indians hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right, thanks, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth, and into bat next, it'll be Tyler Naquin. The 2-1 home. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 3-1. And he lays off there. Ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Well, there's only a one-run cushion to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go-ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. So now Carlos Santana. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the 2-1 home. One run on three hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Time now for the Astros' road to the show report as we get a look at a couple of players making some noise in the upper levels of the minors. Stepping in now, Domingo Santana. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Two and two. Here now the two two. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Boy, after that base knock right there, D. Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. So now to the plate, Oscar Mercado. Two one home. Outside, that's the ball. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Oh. 
the 3 1. Takes a strike for a full count now, 3 and 2. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. One run, four hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Now a ground ball for Altuve could be two. To second for one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just a one out. So striding in, Roberto Perez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Now a move over to first, and the runner will get back standing. He set the 2 2 high in the air down the right field line. On the move is Reddick. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Indians strand a couple. They still trail it here 2 to 1. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros' offense with Houston's manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the inning now, and here comes the first baseman, Yuli Gurriel. 1-1 one, one home. I got 2-1 to count. He's nope. fallen behind now. 3-1. and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. The 3-1 and one pitch. Hit hard to the right side but foul had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch but it was right down the shoe slapped hard the opposite way and a base hit so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning so make it two hits for him in this one as he's on base here in the home fourth and as you see on the graphic he's currently third best on this Astros ball club Into the box now, George Springer. Two and one. A runner at first with no outs here. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, no kept his hands Number inside one. the baseball, and Just ripped stop. the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Coming to the plate now, Carlos Correa. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Hits are now even at four apiece. And he fouls this one off.
Here now the 2 2. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Now another 2 2. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. It's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Number 26 for him on the season, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. I know height sights 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday, so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Standing in now, Josh Reddick. Off-speed pitch, just missed inside. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Reddick has collected just over 150 home runs in his big league days. Swing and a liner. And that's going to be a base hit for Reddick. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knots will help you sleep better at night, Dan. In now, Garrett Stubbs. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Here's Michael Brantley. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. The 1-2. Two. Two balls, two strikes. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he'll take strike three called, and he needed that one badly on the mound. One away. Third baseman, number two. So two men are on with Alex. one man out, and that'll bring Alex. up Alex Bregman. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Now back, second baseman. Ready once again, okay. Jose Altuve. Altuve. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. The 3 1. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Next will be the designated hitter, Jorgan Alvarez. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least, so you know he wants to make up for it right here. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. Three runs already home here. Oh, 
three and two now. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Now the three and two pitch. Fouled off. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again, still with the bases loaded. Now here comes the Cleveland skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart early here this afternoon as he just never got into any kind of groove out there. Adam Simber answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. So here's Yuli Gurriel. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. Now the 2-1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Nick wins under it. And the inning is over. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. We're through four, and this is now a 6-1 ball game. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate, Jose Ramirez. He'll start off the fifth in this one. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016, just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Just got a piece of that one. Perhaps shortening up now will get the ball in play. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and now trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. Two balls, one strike, the count. High in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone, and with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Tribe. They trail 6-1. to one. George Springer the next to hit. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 2-2. Outside in a full count three and two. 
Simber was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Naquin's going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. So one away here with the bases empty. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. 1-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Hard sinker misses two and two. Hit out towards second. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Digging in and looking for more, Josh Reddick. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Bases are empty here with two men out. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Scooped up. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Astros go down one, two, three. They hold on to their six to one lead. Brad Peacock will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Fran Moraes. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Full count now, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Nobody out, runner on first. Get on the ground to third. Bregman gloves it. Altuve for one. To Guriel, and they get them both. But nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Here's Carlos Santana now. Head-to-head -head matchups with Brad Peacock. Just a 1-for-12 career line. The 1-1. Misses, ball two. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. The 2-1. Fouled away. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Domingo Santana would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Two out, nobody on. Rip down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another payoff pitch. Count still full. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. 
And it's fouled away. The next three, two. He loses him on ball four. Man, as a pitcher, I can tell you that is so frustrating. He's got two outs, and he wants to get that third out as quickly and painlessly as possible. But that hitter makes him work his tail off, and he still loses him. Striding in for the Indians, Domingo Santana, a hit in two tries so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming in, but a different story once it got near the plate. And he fouls this one off. Again, a 1-2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Two and two the count. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 3 2, one more time. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. with the play Garrett Stubbs as he'll be the one leading things off for Houston in the sixth swing and a liner a leaping try but it's out of his reach and into the outfield take a look at this again in slow motion he tracks this thing all the way gets his hands quickly through the zone and just rips it down the left field line just how they draw it up and here's the left handed hitting Michael Brantley 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. First with no outs here. And that's more of a slurve than a slider, but whatever it is, it's one and two. From the stretch. this one up Hernandez onto the grass he gets there and makes the play for the first out striding into the box Alex Bregman no hits to this point runner at first here one man out swing line drive that's going to be trouble And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two base hits this year. And as you can see, the Astros currently lead the AL in that department. To the plate now, Jose Altuve. This one's down to third. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Alvarez. A 
one one is a sinker that dips below the zone for a ball two out here and a runner at second. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Astros forced to settle for only the one run. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Astros seven and the Indians one. Seventh inning ready to roll and striding forward the designated hitter Oscar Mercado. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And now pitch on the way. Hopped up and there's the first out. Now back. Settling in now, Roberto Perez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 3 2 pitch. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Stepping in now, Jose Ramirez. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Fouled off. And deep to right center. Springer looking up, and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Solo shot to right center. 24 home runs for him on the season, and it's a 7 2 game now. Yeah, and you could see he just made a mistake. He was cruising in the seventh, getting the first two outs, but then he offered up one that caught a little bit too much of the plate. This one got up and out of here, ruining what looked like a good appearance out of the bullpen. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. Reined in onto the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Indian strike for one on this solo homer. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Astros seven and the Indians two. Emmanuel Classe gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 48, Emmanuel Classe. Standing in, Yuli Gurriel. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Here's the one and one pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Set and the one two pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. So a full count now. Three two pitch turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul oh and that's knocked down and there's one away
Now back. Here's George but Springer. He's working on a one for three thus far. One out, nobody on. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Now that good stop. Carlos. Here's Carlos Correa now. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. One and one, here it is. Whoa, Ground ball left side. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Sometimes you need a little luck. Sometimes you need to get a ground ball with eyes. And that's exactly what happened right there. At the plate now, Josh Reddick. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 2-1 home. Fouled away. Ball three. Three and two now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Correa rounds the corner and is headed home. He scores. And it's now a six-run lead. Yeah, Matt, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far out of hand, especially when you're on the losing oh. side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Standing in now, Garrett Stubbs. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. The 3-1, and he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The left fielder, number 23, Michael Brantley. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Michael Brantley. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Astros pick up a run on the RBI double. We're through seven this afternoon, and this is now an eight to two ball game. Leading off the inning, Francisco Lindor, and they'll need him to get something going here. The one two high in the air into shallow left center Brentley has to run aways before he gets there in time to record the out how about that the white fielder number 32 so next it'll be the four hole hitter for the tribe friend Moraes it was a walk in his last trip bases are empty one man out Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. And a 
lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Slap hard the opposite way. Reddick is right there as he takes it for the second out. Well, now this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Digging in, Tyler Naquin. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. I guarantee you at release point, he wanted to pull this pitch back, no change up no middle of the plate, usually oh, gets deposited in the seats. In now, Carlos Santana, two and one to the Indians' first baseman. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. Lifted in the air to center. Springer has a read on it. And that ends the inning. One left for the tribe. Still eight to two. Dominic Leone enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Dominic Leone. Digging in, Alex Bregman. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 and one now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Nick Wooden's under it, and that's the first out of the inning. Now, back. now with the plate, Jose Altuve. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 2-2 pulled high in the air out to left field. Santana is under this one, and he's got it for out number two. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He was a ground-out victim last time up. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Astros. But no matter, they lead it eight to two. Roberto Ozuna comes on to work now, and he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close the game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him a chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Back goes Reddick. On the warning track, he makes the catch. 
the back. The designated hitter, Oscar Mercado. So coming to the plate, Oscar Mercado. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, it didn't look good right there. Just out in front. You know, sometimes when a pitcher has great arm action, you're going to get that. You try and so hard to catch up to the high velocity. If he shows that great arm action and pulls the string on you, sometimes a pop up is going to be the result. Digging in, Roberto Perez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. Guriel has a play. Makes the catch and that's the ball game. Yep, just another successful day at the office for these guys. But this one has a little bit of added significance as that's win number 82 for them on the year. So they're assured of finishing the season with a winning record. Eight to two is how this one ends today. The Houston Astros took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Josh James earns his 12th victory in the ballgame. Shane Bieber permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasgers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Astros, eight runs, ten hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. For Cleveland, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 20 minutes. Our paid attendance at Minute Maid Park this afternoon, 41,168. The Astros thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safe.